I had to start over now as a developer, I wouldn't waste time on traditional boot camps or CS degrees. There's a faster way. And I know it because over the past five years, I've went from being an absolute beginner to a senior software engineer, from making zero dollars to over $700,000 in my career. I've led multi-million dollar projects while working in some of the best offices in the world. And now I'm helping thousands of developers do the exact same with this YouTube channel. Every single day, there is a new AI tech or model that is dropping. And you're sitting there thinking, what am I supposed to learn? I get it. I see your comments. And after helping a lot of my students become codebenders, I realized something. Most people are stuck with a 2020s mindset. They're learning outdated skills while the world has already moved on. But don't worry, Alhamdulillah, our community, the code vendors, saw this coming. In this video, I will show you the exact roadmap that I would follow to become an AI developer this year. The first thing we have to do is that I have to clear up a massive misconception because a lot of people get this wrong. An AI developer is not an AI researcher in a lab code like training neural networks. It's also not a machine learning engineer who is building new models from scratch. An AI developer is simply a full stack software engineer who knows how to utilize those AI technologies and APIs to build incredible apps. Most companies aren't going to build their own AI models. They don't need that. Think about it, like companies like OpenAI and Tropic Google, they already spend billions on this. So most businesses in the world, they will just leverage on the models that were already created. What they need is developers who can take those existing models and integrate them into their products and workflows. And this is where AI developers come in. While machine learning engineers are competing for a handful of jobs at those big tech companies that are training new models, every business is gonna need AI developers. Why? Because every software is about to be rebuilt with AI. Think about it. Customer service need AI chatbot. Marketing teams need AI content generation. Sales teams need AI automation. Product teams need new AI features. And guess who is gonna build all of this for them? It's not machine learning engineers. They're going to hire developers who know how to integrate AI models effectively. These are the new age software engineers, also called AI developers. This is why we have a golden window of opportunity right now. The demand is exploding, but most developers, they're still stuck in a pre-AI mindset. While they're still debating whether to use React or Angular, you're gonna learn how to build the future. Now, I know this opportunity sounds exciting, but a lot of people are actually lost on what skills they need to learn concretely. So I've created a complete roadmap to help you. Phase one, you need to build the general skills of a full stack developer. This is gonna take you around three to six months, depending on how fast you are, but don't rush it. These are the roots of your AI development tree. You can think about the skills you need to learn as building a house. So first you have to learn front-end technology. It starts with HTML, which is like the foundation of a house. Then you have CSS, which is like the walls and the designs. You have JavaScript, which is like the electrical wiring. So it's what gives like life to the house. You have React, which is your smart home system. Then you need to learn backend technologies like Node.js, which is your power station, and then a database like PostgreSQL, which is gonna be your storage house. To make it easy for you, I've created a full guide on how to learn those skills. I'm gonna link it below, it's completely for free. After you go over the first part, the foundations, you're still a regular developer. There's nothing AI related there. So how do you supercharge your skills? That's when we're entering phase two, the AI fundamentals. Let's start with what most tutorials completely ignore, understanding how AI works. And no, I don't mean any complex math. I'm talking about just having an overall basic understanding of how LLMs work. This phase is kind of like when you're learning to speak a new language, you need to learn the grammar, so how LLMs work, before you can actually write poetry. So that's like more advanced AI applications. You can think of LLMs like martial arts experts who have read every book you can read about combat sports. So they can theoretically recreate any technique that they have seen, but they need proper instructions to apply it in a real world scenario. And the better the instructions are, the better it will perform. This is why prompt engineering is important. Most developers, they skip that part. They just treat AI like a magical black box. But remember, you're not just any developer, you're a code bender, and we understand and master our tools. With a basic prompt, you can get a website that looks like this. With a more advanced prompt, you can get a website that looks like this. See, big difference. Same model, but completely different results. This is your first edge, learn prompt engineering. If you want to learn it together with AI development in general, I highly recommend you check out Scrimba. They have a ton of courses available, but my favorite one there is the AI engineer path. Full disclaimer, they actually reached out to me to sponsor this video, but I've actually bought their course a year ago and I absolutely love it. So I was very happy to recommend them. In my opinion, they're one of the best resources to learn AI development. And they're also giving a 20% discount to everyone who clicks the link in the description, the special link they gave me, and you sign up to their pro tier. Most of their courses are actually available for free, so you can try the platform 
platform before subscribing or paying anything. They have a very extensive curriculum. You're going to learn about prompt engineering, APIs, open source models, how to build the RAG applications, AI agents, and more. The interface is super interactive, which makes learning easy. You have an ID in your browser. There is a video playing in the background. There is like a voiceover that is guiding you through every step and you can easily apply every new skill that you're learning. I highly recommend you go through this. It will simplify your AI journey a lot. So check out the link in the description to get access to it. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You remember those AI skills that I mentioned earlier? It's time to add them to your arsenal. This is phase three, learn AI APIs. This is where theory meets practice. You can think of AI APIs like having a team of specialized experts at your disposal. My students have utilized a lot of those APIs to build AI apps in days. Apps like Interview GPT, where you can upload your resume, a link to a job description, and then it's gonna create a personalized interview for you. They also created logo generators where you can describe your brand's vision, pick a style, and then it's gonna generate a bunch of logos. They created a chat with PDF app where you can upload your PDF and then start chatting with it. What is the PDF about? The PDF is a technical report from Open AI about the development of GPT-4. My recommendation for you is to start with the OpenAI APIs, in particular their text models. This is the most popular API out there, this is your foundation. Go over the official OpenAI API docs, that's your main reference. And here I want you to learn about function calling, tooling, and prompt caching. Next, you'll move to the Dolly API, that's your visual powers. It will allow you to create assets, logos, and images. Once you have learned two different APIs, you can combine them together. For example, I build this children's book AI generator that creates a book with text and images that is custom to every child. Once you have gone through the main APIs that OpenAI has, you can venture through other models like Entropic with their cloud models, Mistral, and test open source models that are available on Replicate or Hugging Face. Everything that I've shown you so far is what I call level one AI development. But now we're going to show you what real AI power looks like. We're entering phase four, advanced AI frameworks. This is where you transcend from a regular developer to an AI architect. And one concept you need to learn is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Think of RAG like building a custom brain for your AI. Regular AIs are basically like general knowledge experts. A RAG enhanced AI is like an AI that has read your specific data, like your company data, for example. So it knows the specifics that you want it to know and it can perform a lot better for your use case. For example, one of my students built a RAG chatbot for an education company called Beina. The chatbot could answer specific questions about their education program and it could even pinpoint to timestamps in the video lectures. He sent the app to them, they liked it a lot and they're currently interviewing him to join their engineering team. To build a RAG AI app, you need to learn three things. First is embeddings, which is a mathematical representation of a piece of data into an AI readable format. Then you need to learn how to use vector database, which are a particular type of database that is used to store embeddings. And finally, you need to learn how to split large knowledge files into chunks that are easily processed by the AI and turned into embeddings. One tool you can use for this is LangChain, but you could also just do it manually. Now I have a bonus section for those of you who want to go further. There are two things that you can learn. One is AI agents. AI agents are the future. We're all going to have a dozen of AI agents performing specific tasks for us. So if you can learn it now, it's going to give you an advantage compared to other people. For this, I can recommend you check out Crew AI. It's a framework to build AI agents and automate multi-agent workflows. Next, you can learn about fine tuning, which is a process where you take an existing AI and you train it based on your specific use case. For example, if you want the AI to speak in a certain tone or to write with a specific style. But you only need this in very specific use cases. In most use cases, RAG is going to be enough for you. I hope you benefited from this, Codebenders. Remember, when you do the work others won't, you'll get the jobs and opportunities they can't. But I need to warn you about something. The window of opportunity for AI is short, so you need to jump into it now if you want to secure a job. I've created a complete guide to help you win in this market and get a job as an AI developer. Check out the video right here. Thanks for watching and Asalaamu Alaikum.